Hey guys, how are you today? So we are filming this in March of 2020 in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. I bring that up for a particular reason. So in the midst of this scary, crazy time in the world, um, I struggle sometimes staying positive and not completely freaking out. As I know many, many of you are doing, if you're watching this in the future, and you weren't around at that time, then just trust me on that. And you can research it in history, look up other YouTube videos. It's a crazy time and most of us are having trouble not panicking for good reason. Um, one of the things I did recently, I saw on um, Craft Warehouse's Instagram. Craft, Craft Warehouse is a local craft store chain near me in Oregon. Uh, they have, I think, two stores or maybe three stores. I'm not sure. Anyway, they had painted rocks similar to these um, on their Instagram. In fact, this wish one is inspired by one that I saw on their Instagram, which I thought was so cute. Um, I had a drawer of rocks, some of which these big ones are from my old house in California um, that I always intended on painting. And I thought, you know, now's as good time as any. I need some rocks with positive affirmation words on them. Um, I need a simple creative pursuit that allows me to just let it go and bring some positive energy and positive words into my life and my being and my house right now. So I took my rocks and some just plain craft paint, nothing special. And I painted um, half the rock with a color. Now some of the colors like the green and the yellow took four or five coats to cover well. And the green probably could have used one or two more coats, but that's fine. I should have painted them white first and then put the color on top, but you know, hindsight's always 2020, right? Uh, once that was done, I took a gold paint pen and I do, drew a gold line separating the rock color from the the paint color uh, or in the case of this one outlining the little heart I happened to pull this rock out and it happened to be heart shaped on its own um, in some cases I took the gold paint pen and did the line and did some doodling above on the rock color then I took some white paint and a very teeny tiny paintbrush and I um, wrote some words on there. Now you will notice, and the reason I'm bringing this up this month is I had the idea when I was doing this to see if I could stencil with my stencils from my Etsy shop on the rocks. The answer is yes, you can. So you just very carefully, and I think it's, yeah, right here. So I just very carefully did this with one hand and then a little teeny tiny bit of paint and a small stenciling brush and just did this. Took my time with a little bit of paint. Sometimes I went over it twice and then I got the cute design on there. Then I would accent it with more paint and then write with a tiny liner brush, write my word. Or you could do the word and the accents with a white paint pen if you wanted. Um, I did that with a number of them. Um, these little small stencils are part of what I call a four square series. I think there's 13 or 14 of them in the series now. I've taken some of mine and I've cut them apart. I will link the one this particular one is in the description below. Some of them were too big for the rocks, like the arrow. So what I did is I stenciled it on one side, then I let it dry, then I turned it over. I stenciled the rest of the arrow on the back side and then I wrote wander. Um, so I want you to use the supplies that you have this month and I want you to um, think about new and different and unique ways you can do them. Um, I am having a lot of fun rethinking my own supplies that I've created and have for sale in my Etsy shop and rethinking how can I use them in a new way and how can I bring that to you all to inspire you to do the same. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with that. Um, we're stuck in, we can't do much, so what else are you going to do, right? So anyway, stenciling on rocks, give it a shot. Um, there is a coupon code right now um, uh, for the time of the shut-in to uh, promote the store and get you all some new supplies that you can use. I know none of us can go shopping right now um, <laughs> I'm right there with you, but you can still order things from my Etsy shop. And I do have at the moment plenty of inventory. Um, so I'll leave you the coupon code and the Etsy shop um, link in the description below. So check it out. I do have a design team. 
and I can't wait to see what they do this month. I do uh, link their channels in um, on the Design Team blog over on my website. I will link you that also. They come out with new and exciting things every month, and I also try to showcase one or two of them in some ads um, a couple times a month. So look for that. Follow me on social media. I post daily art. I post some of their artwork and stuff and more. Um, in my Instagram and other things. So all of those links are in my link tree, links, list of links in the description below, along with other ways to support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. All of that's in the video description. And I'm not the only creative on the planet, uh, on you, the YouTube planet that has that right now. Um, so if you have a favorite creative YouTuber and you would like to support them, um, in a small, even in a small way, they probably have a way for you to do that in their video description. So check it out. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, go out and have a safe, happy, creative day. Um, don't forget to keep your social distance and wash your hands. And yeah, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Paint on some rocks. It really was very therapeutic for me. That's it for right now. Bye, guys.